CITSIM was established in 2004 with the vision that quality education builds the future success for the students as well as for the profession. They've come a long way because of taking all the Western and Eastern techniques, which I think is going to make them even better therapists because they've been able to juggle all that, that they'll be able to come up with that program that's going to suit that person for their treatment. Yes, they, they go out very educated in that. We've got a diversity of teachers here that come from different backgrounds and give them all that knowledge that they need. So they piece together what they need and that's how they come up with their treatment plan for the clients. It's great. The new facility is fantastic. Um, you walk in here, it's bright, it's cheerful, it's super welcoming to the guests when they come in here. We have a dedicated massage room now, which is great for us massage kids. Uh, the acupuncture students, they have these brand new rooms that are also like state of the art. I mean, it's, it's great. I was in China for five months completing a bachelor degree internship. Uh, that consisted of clinical time as well as class time. The clinical time was the most eye-opening for me because I was in the hospitals in China, you know, at the, at the motherland of traditional Chinese medicine and seeing it in action over there. Uh, it gave me the chance to not only improve my skills in the sense of I was practicing and working on patients there and learning under the, the best doctors, but it also just gave me a lot more experience with my diagnosis, diagnosis skills because I got to see sometimes 30, 40, even 50 patients in a morning. Just the amount of numbers that we saw was unreal. Uh, and then on top of that, we had a lot of time to uh, do some sightseeing, enjoy the food. I was there for five months, so believe me, I saw almost almost all the main sightseeing that I could do in Chengdu. But the big thing with uh, my clinical side of things there was 
Seeing how well that Western medicine and modern medicine was integrated with the traditional Chinese medicine ways. So here in Canada, it's very separated. You have to kind of seek out both on your own. Whereas there, it's all put together in the hospital. And when the doc, when you see your doctor, they give you the options, and they give you the options that they think might be best for you. And a lot of patients went the traditional Chinese medical route, and they got better without having to go a lot more extreme route. And uh, so that was really eye-opening for me, and I. I really appreciated getting to see that out there because I wouldn't have seen that if I didn't do the traditional Chinese medical uh, bachelor program.